Top 10 Worst Umpire Decisions in Cricket History Ever Number 10 In the fourth test of Australia's Tour of West Indies in 1995, Boone attempted to play a bouncer from Ambrose but missed the ball, which hit his helmet before flying up in the air. The West Indian wicketkeeper Jeff Dujon caught the ball, and Ambrose appealed for a catch. The on-field umpire, Steve Buckner, gave Boone out caught behind, even though the ball had clearly hit his helmet and not the bat or gloves. Boone was understandably unhappy with the decision. Number 9 During the India tour of Sri Lanka in 2009, in the second ODI played at Colombo, there was a controversial LBW decision made by umpire S. Gamini Silva involving Indian batsman Yuvraj Singh. The ball hit Yuvraj's bat before hitting his pad, but the umpire wrongly adjudged him LBW, which left Yuvraj visibly disappointed. Number 8. During the England tour of West Indies' second test match at Port of Spain in 1998, a controversial LBW decision was made by umpire Srinivas Venkatar Gavin. The ball was delivered and it pitched outside the leg stump before hitting Russell's pads. However, despite the ball clearly pitching outside the leg stump, Venkatar Gavin gave Russell out LBW. Number 7. During the India tour of West Indies' fourth test match at St. John's in 1997, a controversial caught dismissal decision was not given by umpire B.C. Kore involving Indian batsman Sunil Joshi. Sunil hit the ball back towards Williams, who took a reflex catch. Despite the ball not hitting the ground before Williams took the catch, umpire B.C. Kore did not give Sunil out, which sparked a lot of controversy and debate. Number 6. During the England Tour of New Zealand third test match at Auckland in 2002, a controversial caught dismissal decision was made by umpire Doug Cowie involving English all-rounder Andrew Flintoff. The ball was delivered, and Flintoff attempted to play a shot, but he missed the ball. However, the ball then hit his pad and went up in the air towards New Zealand wicketkeeper Adam Parori. Despite the ball not hitting Flintoff's bat, Umpire Doug Cowie gave him out, which sparked a lot of controversy and debate. Number 5 During the England tour of Sri Lanka in 2001, one of the most controversial caught dismissal decisions in the history of cricket was made by the umpire B.C. Kore. Jayasuriya attempted to drive a delivery from Kadik, but he missed the ball and it bounced off the ground before being caught by the Graham Thorpe. Despite the ball clearly bouncing off the ground before it was caught, B.C. Kore, who was the on-field umpire, gave Jayasuriya out caught behind. Number 4. The Australia Tour of West Indies in 1995 was a cricket series between Australia and West Indies. One of the most controversial LBW dismissal decisions in the history of cricket was made by the umpire Steve Buckner. It's clearly impact outside off stump. However, Buckner, who was the on-field umpire, gave Arthurton out LBW. Number 3. 
During the Future Cup third ODI match at Belfast in 2007 between India and South Africa, a controversial decision involving South African batsman A.B. de Villiers was made by umpire Aleem Dar. De Villiers attempted to play a shot, but the ball edged his bat and was caught by Sachin Tendulkar. However, the umpire Aleem Dar did not give de Villiers out, despite the ball clearly hitting the bat. Number 2 during the Pakistan visit through India first test match at Chennai in 1999, a disputable got excusal choice was made by umpire Steve Dunn including Indian batsman Saurav Ganguly. The ball was conveyed, and Ganguly endeavoured to play a shot however edged the ball, which then bobbed on the ground prior to being gotten by Pakistani wicketkeeper Moin Khan. Umpire Steve Dunn gave Ganguly out, which ignited a ton of discussion and discussion. Number 1 During the Coca-Cola Champions Trophy final at Sharjah in 1999 between Sri Lanka and Pakistan, a controversial caught dismissal decision was made by the TV umpire Steve Dunn. Aravinda Da Silva was facing Pakistani all-rounder Abdul Razak. Da Silva attempted to play a shot, but he mistimed it, and the ball hit the ground before being caught by Pakistani fielder Insamam Al-Haq despite the ball clearly bouncing off the ground before it was caught. 